March opened with a few days of unsettled weather, but by mid-month high pressure dominated and the country saw some fine and at times warm weather, heralding the first spell of more than one or two dry days together since early December. Often sunshine was plentiful and an unusually early incidence of the year's first day above 20 degrees Celsius on the 9th of March for a few places around the London area. Although nights remained chilly in places and somewhat more unsettled weather did return later in the month. Looking at the statistics for the month as a whole, it was another mild month, with the UK mean temperature 6.7 degrees Celsius, which is 1.2 degrees above the 1981 to 2010 long-term average, and the number of air frosts was below average. It was also a relatively dry month, with the UK overall receiving 85% of average rainfall. East Anglia was the driest area, and only a few small areas exceeded their monthly average. It was sunnier than normal nearly everywhere, with the exception being the west of Northern Ireland. The UK overall received 127% of average sunshine hours. Parts of East Anglia and Kent were the sunniest places in March. So where were the hottest, coldest, wettest and windiest places in March? A maximum temperature of 20.9 degrees Celsius was recorded at St James Park, Greater London, and St Downham, Suffolk, on the 30th. A minimum temperature of minus 6.8 degrees Celsius was recorded at Reedsdale Camp, Northumberland, on the 24th. In the 24 hours ending at 0900 GMT on the 20th, 78.8 millimetres of rain fell at Clooney Inn, Highland. Wind gusts of 75 miles per hour were recorded at Fair Isle and Selaness on Shetland on the 7th. A snow depth of 7 centimetres was measured at Spade Adam, Cumbria, at 0900 GMT on the 22nd. Now we'll take a closer look at the weather that defined March. There were scattered showers in the west and rain in East Anglia during the morning of the 1st, but these cleared to leave a dry and bright afternoon, but a weather system spread rain into the northwest during the evening. The 2nd saw scattered showers for many areas in the morning, but a band of heavier rain spread from the west during the afternoon to reach the east by evening. This weather theme continued for a few more days, although with some high temperatures for the time of year, with Gravesend, Kent, recording 20.5 degrees Celsius on the 9th. High pressure became established over the country on the 10th, bringing some clear skies and fine weather for many, although fog did affect some areas at times. High pressure dominated until the 18th, with a return to more unsettled weather, bringing rain and at times high winds. A maximum gust of 72 miles per hour was recorded at Blackford Hill, Edinburgh on the 20th. It became colder in northern areas with some reports of snow, particularly on higher ground. Cooler temperatures became widespread with Reedsdale, Northumberland, recording minus 6.8 degrees Celsius overnight of the 24th. By the 26th, an easterly wind drove showers into eastern areas, falling as rain, hail and snow for higher ground. The last few days of the month saw a mix of showers and some fine weather. A southerly airstream on the 30th saw temperatures reach 20.9 degrees Celsius at Santon Downham, Suffolk and St James Park, Greater London. Here are some of your March weather pictures you sent in. Send in your pictures of April weather through Twitter and you could feature in next month's summary video. For more information on UK climate, please visit the Met Office website.